Hey y'all, what is up? It is Marissa Nicole and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is actually really exciting because it's my first time doing this and I'm sure you see it around social media a little bit, especially if you watch other videos or especially on Instagram or just girls are doing it all over the place. It's about that time of the year for formal season and that's basically depending on what school you're at, depending on what you do, but here at Ohio State, all the fraternities go on a formal trip and they go to a city in like Tennessee. It's called Gatlinburg, which we kind of coined as Fratlinburg and basically they spend the weekend down there in some cabins and they bring a whole bunch of their brothers and then the brothers bring dates and it's like this whole weekend of having fun in the mountains and you get to hike and just do fun things and I've never been before so I'm really excited but one of the traditions that kind of go with frat formals is painting the fraternity brothers coolers so basically if you get to be a date of a fraternity guy you get to make them a cooler <laughs> it sounds a lot you know easier and more fun than it actually is <laughs> I'm just dreading painting this because I'm not a good painter I'm very artistic up here but not down here and so I've been struggling struggling for the past week trying to figure out ideas of what I'm gonna put on this cooler let alone how the heck I'm going to paint it on this cooler so basically we're gonna do this a little bit together it's gonna be kind of a how to how to do this and also like what I learned so that you all don't make the same mistakes I do and so you guys can get some ideas I guess I don't know so to start off let me tell you where I got my cooler from because I did order it online because when I started looking into this a little bit more it is so much more complicated than you think like you think to just go to Walmart and buy a cooler and then you paint it right wrong you have to if you buy like a regular cooler from the store and it has like all the bumps on it. You know what I'm talking about because coolers are like bumpy. You have to buy like a sander and like sand it down and then you have to like prime it and paint it and then seal it. Like it's this whole ordeal that I did not think about and I was prepared to buy a cooler, buy a sander, have to like work in like a workshop to do this thing. But thankfully, I didn't have to do that because I found a website that sends out coolers that are already sanded and primed and comes with sealant. We have to like buy it kind of separately but you can buy sealant to seal it up after you're done and so the only like bumpy side of the cooler is the lid and I'm sure they probably do that to kind of like put your drinks on and it's they don't slap. I don't know why they do that I wish they would just sand all the sides but I ordered this cooler and it's pre sanded pre primed ready for me to paint and we're gonna open it up today so I can see what it looks like and we're gonna get started basically Okay, so here's our cooler. It has five sides that I have to paint and decorate and all that good stuff. And then it came with the sealant that after I'm done doing it, you seal it off. That way the paint doesn't like rub off and when, I don't know what they would do. I don't know. I know nothing about this thing. But I do have some ideas of what I want to put on it. In essence, I have to kind of make them come to life. So what I want to do first is of course sketch out what I'm going to do on all the sides. I'm going to start with the lid because that's the top and it's kind of the easiest part. But if I'm doing my how-to part of this video, step one is to obtain your cooler. I highly suggest buying one that is pre-sanded, pre-primed, all that good jazz. This one is from Coolers by You, and it's just like a U for university. The fast and simple way to paint a cooler. No spackling. I don't know what that is. No sanding, no priming, no prep. And so it's easy. And you can find them on coolersbyyou.com. This video is not sponsored, however, because I didn't think that far in advance, so I'm not sponsored. I'm just, this is the one I bought, so <laughs> I'll tell you how it goes. But it's like a pretty good size. I mean, it's like, it's a normal, like, cooler. It's like my forearm. I don't know. We're gonna get to sketching. Okay, I gave up on the top. We're gonna move on to a front side. <laughs> Hey y'all, what is up? Um, we took a short break because actually tonight we had like a social. That's why I'm like dressed in like this weird thing. I'll show you what I wore. So I was cat and then my friend was dog. We dressed up as cat dog <laughs> because here at Ohio State we have what's called like Greek week. So a whole week is like a whole bunch of fraternity, sorority stuff, events that go on and you get like pairings. So we were paired with like five or six other sorority and fraternities. And then you have to do like a events with them and do fun things. So tonight we had a TG, which is like a themed gathering and it was Nickelodeon themed because that's actually like our Greek week theme. So every like team is a different Nickelodeon. 
Nickelodeon show theme. So like our team is team five and we're the Danny Phantom team, for example. But anyways, we had a TG tonight for Nickelodeon theme. So my friend and I dressed up as cat dog and it was, it was great. I'll post a picture right here because it was cute. But that is also besides the point because this is not what this video is about, but I just needed to explain why I was wearing something different. So I'm back and we're gonna keep sketching. I did finish sketching the front before I went to the TG, but my camera also died. So y'all probably missed that. Y'all probably cannot see this on camera. <laughs> well, this is the front. It'll make more sense when it's painted. We're gonna start sketching on the one side. I'm gonna try to get all of everything sketched out tonight. Probably not gonna happen, but we're gonna try. Okay, let's go. Hey y'all, it is like day three of these coolers and I have all five sides sketched but we need to start painting it because technically I'm supposed to have this stuff done by like tomorrow but I wait till the last minute. So we need to paint this whole cooler like tonight basically. So we're gonna get started on that. But I can't really, I've been trying to show you guys these sides but the camera just doesn't pick up on the sketches because it's just pencil on a white cooler. So you can't see anything. But basically once I start painting it, you'll really get the idea of what I'm going for here. So we'll just, I'll show you along the way. y'all need a nice little tip to paint your cooler basically i need to like do a background but it's like a spongy background on the rick and morty side but i already stenciled out rick and morty and i really don't want to re-stencil them out over the background so basically we're covering them up with tape so we did like a really janky tape job <laughs> and then oh, yeah. we're gonna like cut it out to actually like fit them and then i can sponge around them and then take the tape off and it should be fine yeah At it again at Krispy Kreme. Back at it again at Krispy Kreme. But welcome back. We're here for another day of painting this cooler. When will I get it done? No one knows. But let's give you an update of what I got so far. Here is the lid, and it's like a mountaintop scenery with glasses, and then that's his signature. So I actually asked him to sign a piece of paper, and then like I copied it on there. So that's like his signature. I don't know what I did, but I like scratched it already. I'm gonna have to fill in some spots, but basically there's the lid. I have not touched the front at all, so it's still just my sketch, which I don't know if you guys can see. This side, I'm going for like a Spongebob-y theme, so it says a few bears later. And then I'm gonna do like little flowers and stuff like that in the background of like how you would with a Spongebob little thing. So Spongebob <laughs> the back right now all I have done is the background But I think you can kind of tell it's like a Bud Light can in the center So it's like a hand like holding a Bud Light can and then it's kind of like exploding from the background So I need to still do the can but the like outside is done and as you guys can see typically people will do stuff on the corners Which I am so that's why my lines are a little messy I'm gonna end up putting something here like on all four corners, but that's not done yet I'm also planning on doing something around the edge of the handle But of course that's not done yet and then the last side that you guys can see I kind of finished it except for that tiny spot right there, which I have to fix somehow But it's a Rick and Morty side and it says looks like we're on a cooler Morty. Oh, geez Rick And so it's just kind of funny <laughs> Griffin and I watch Rick and Morty a lot together So I just thought that'd be like a fun little touch of like an inside joke kind of thing But as you can see I still have a lot to do I have a lot of ideas that I want to still finish on here I want to do stuff on the corners. I still need to finish the front the handle I actually want to paint two things on the inside and actually one thing on the bottom of it So we're trying <laughs> I'm trying to get this done. So we're gonna do as much as we can to Today and jump right back in it. So I've somewhat finished some of the other sides, but I'm starting. Oh, goodness. It's your boy, Sean Casey here. <laughs> Marissa's late on the, uh, on the cooler. I'm sorry. <laughs> Tina was great. She got it on time. It was, it's a great cooler. It's back at my place, so you can't see it. Mm -hmm. Tino's was really nice. It was really nice. Mine's just late, but <laughs> I've somewhat finished some of the other sides But I'm starting on the front and basically I wanted to show you how I'm doing it So it's like my Fratagonia side So I'm doing like the Patagonia kind of like theme to it But it says Fratagonia and then there's like a guy playing a little like pong into like 
a solo cup of the eye and so basically what I'm doing is covering up everything like the little mountain areas and the guy playing pong so that way I can paint on straight stripes for like the different colored stuff that's about to happen so basically you cover everything with tape I'm gonna take my exacto knife and kind of go around it like we did with the Rick and Morty side and with the like a few beers later side and stuff so that's gonna take a while let's do that These are the lines after I like cut out the mountain and some of the guy playing Pong. That way I can draw the stripes of the Patagonia thing. And then of course I'll have to finish doing all of this part. But basically it has, if you can see it, the guys here in the arm. He's gonna throw the Pong ball into the eye of the Fratagonia. We got DU on there and Gatlinburg 2019. Okay y'all, update time. I am done. I'm actually done. I cannot believe it's done. It's literally taking me like three weeks to do this and I'm not even joking. This was literally the hardest thing I've ever done in my whole life, but I put so much time and effort into this and I'm really excited to show you guys all the sides of it now that it's completely done. I've already sealed it at least with one coat. It came with this like Varnify multi-purpose water-based sealer, glue, and finish and it's in like a gloss finish. And so I got that with the kit and I put one coat on it, but it says to put like three or four. So I've only done one. I'm going to do a couple more, but I just, I can't wait any longer I need to show you all the rest of this cooler that way y'all can see all of my hard work here is the lid of the cooler so I was going for like a mountain kind of landscapey vibe these are some sunglasses and I have his signature here this is my favorite side I think he's gonna love this side the most it did get scratched right here which I'm low-key upset about but just don't look at it right there <laughs> I did like watercolor up here I don't know if you guys can tell watercoloring a cooler is really hard <laughs> don't do it but I'm really pleased with this and since we're up here I'll just show you I didn't know what to do with the handle so I actually twined it up and I like wrapped rope around it just like really thin twine and I like glued it down with the sealer and then that way he has like a ropey handle I guess I don't know I just was trying to be different and cool guys I'm sorry this is the front of the cooler so this is like the lid where it opens it says Fratagonia on it so it obviously it looks like the little Patagonia like mountain kind of scenery however it says Fratagonia to be funny and then I have a silhouette of a guy right here. He's playing Pong into the eye, and that's why the little eye on Fratagonia is a little red solo cup with a Pong ball right there. I have DU on there because that is the fraternity he's in. And then, of course, we went to Gatlinburg 2019, so I had to add that on there as well. And I absolutely love this, this front of it. This side took me five ever to complete. I did this side last because I knew it was going to take me so long, and I just didn't even want to do it at all. Like, every time I looked at it, I was like, no, please, no, please, no. <laughs> so this was the last side I did. I'm actually really pleased with it. He's going to like that one. I mean, he better like all these sides. So Griffin, if you're watching this, if you don't like it, I don't care. Love you. <laughs> okay, so now if we turn it, okay, I don't know if I can do this with any. Uh, on the side here, I did like a rope kind of-esque look because you're supposed to paint the corners too. And I was like, oh my God. So there's like five sides, but then like four corners. <laughs> so this side is like a SpongeBob tribute. It says a few beers later. You know how it says like a few years or a few hours later. Like the whole little thing was like SpongeBob and his little transitions. So I drew that on the side and I think it turned out really, really good. My little Lexi, this is her favorite side. She loves this side. It took me, again, forever to do this side. I mean, like, honestly, it took me forever to do all these sides. It took me so long. I just... We're gonna move on. If we keep turning it, we have this corner. I did red solo cups with little pong balls. So like that's that corner, a little esque area. And then on the back, I did this like Bud Light can and a hand is holding it. And then just like an explosive background with like red, orange, and yellow. I thought the colors looked really nice together. And I am low-key really proud of this Bud Light can because I tried to do like the different shading on it. And I, I don't know, I tried to add like the little detail. I tried so hard on this whole thing, okay? So if you don't like it, please, please don't leave me comments down below because I'll probably cry <laughs> and then if we turn it one more time on this corner I did little hockey sticks and then like a hockey puck because we like to watch the Columbus Blue Jackets together and so that's like a huge thing for us and then the last side it says looks like we're on a cooler Morty oh geez Rick and it's like a Rick and Morty side obviously if you don't watch Rick or Morty you're probably not gonna understand what I'm doing here but <laughs> go watch it Rick and Morty awesome show we watch it together all the time we die laughing and what's really cool about this side is I actually you guys saw it in the vlog I had to like tape over them and then I like sponged the background so it looks like really cool and that's how I'm getting like the different effects on the background and I have like different color instead of just like one shade of green I wanted to be better with it I guess you can say <laughs> I don't know so I, that took a lot of work to do but I think it paid off because I really like the background it makes it look like a little vortexy or like scientific-y sci-fi like how the whole series is 
pieces so I really like my Rick and Morty side and honestly I'm actually proud of like the colors and everything that I did because it was really hard to make all these colors especially Rick's skin tone he's a little gray but he'll do he'll do and then the last corner is another rope so when you look at it from the front you see the Fratagonia and then I have two rope sides so that way it kind of matched from the front and I honestly just didn't know what to do on the last corner because I was running out of ideas and I wanted this thing to be done so I just did two ropes okay <laughs> and there's actually a little surprise on the inside of the lid so if you open it it says right here and it says hydrate responsibly and then I just did the D and the U in different colors because that's his fraternity so really simple but I just wanted something on the inside when you open it so it's not like boring well there it is there is the cooler the whole shebang the whole three weeks of work I put into this thing all boils down to that one little tiny cooler that Griffin is probably never going to use but I mean to be completely honest I almost don't want him to use it because I feel like if he uses it he's gonna mess it up like it'll chip it'll do something and I'll be really angry so I'd rather him just like never touch it and only look at it <laughs> I did want to share some like tips I guess that I learned from doing this cooler and one that would be start ahead of time because this takes so long I did not expect it to take this long I thought I could get it done in like two days or something no it literally took me like three weeks like I said if I could do it again I would have started out way ahead of time because honestly I didn't get a ton in time for formal y'all have already seen on my Instagram that I've been at formal and I didn't have the cooler and I felt like trash I felt like an awful girlfriend because I didn't have my frat boyfriend's cooler done but you know he'll, sorry Griffin so start ahead of time give yourself enough time please another tip would be to buy one that's pre sanded and pre like primed and all that kind of stuff again I'm gonna post the link down below from where I bought mine from because honestly it saved me a ton of time because you have to like sand that down yourself like you'd have to buy an electric electric sander and like it was too much that's way too much that would have even taken even longer so buy one that's already pre sanded at least but also pre primed right buy some sealant so that way your stuff doesn't chip off as easily just protect your work <laughs> obviously a tip get some inspiration from Pinterest that's especially where I got a lot of mine from I'm sure if you guys Google like frat coolers on Pinterest you're probably gonna see a lot of literally my my cooler is basically gonna be on there so <laughs> I am really good at recreating things but I'm not very creative on my own stuff so look for Pinterest get ideas get inspiration another tip would be to actually take your time doing it I mean like with me I'm just a perfectionist so I wanted this to look good so I wasn't trying to just like slap it on there because I probably could have been done maybe in two days if I didn't have such complicated sides and such complicated designs I wanted mine to be like amazing because that's just who I am as a person so take your time and do it well I spent a whole day just stenciling the stuff in with like a pencil and I went through every side and like drew on there what what I wanted on there before I even started painting it and that of course took me a lot of time but then even when I started painting y'all saw in like the time lapses that I would cover my stuff up with tape I would use rulers I would really try to like exactly measure this stuff out and use my templates like all these things to try to make my lines straight I tried really hard to make it look well because if you put the time and effort into it it will look well like there's no way that it'll look bad if you really try <laughs> another tip that I didn't even know until like now is basically be careful with this little area right back here because this is where your cooler is gonna like the lid opens and this kind of goes down this is gonna peel because I've already started to like peel away at it because as you open the cooler it gets stuck and I'm like really upset so I honestly wish I would have just like only painted the top and left this part like white so that way when it opens and closes it didn't start peeling up but I'm hoping the sealant will help a little bit but either way like the paint is just thick enough that when I open the lid it's gonna peel off a little bit which sucks so I might just like I, I don't know but just think about that be aware of that and that's also why I didn't paint like this side or like under here because when this stuff goes up and down it was gonna peel off and I really didn't want to do the handles because if he holds it it's gonna peel off like I tried not to touch the stuff that would peel easily because I really don't want my work to peel so that's why I left some of it white because it works. When you're thinking of ideas to paint these sides, like obviously take into account who your date is. Like your date wants something that's very like personal to them or even just like to you guys if it is your boyfriend or something. And so that's why I really tried to pick stuff that like I knew Griffin would like. I know he, we love watching Rick and Morty and I know that we play Pong together. Like that was something that we did when like we first re-met our senior year is like we played Pong together and like we won as Pong partners. So like that was something cute for me to add on there. And we love watching hockey so I made sure to add the hockey sticks on there. And I know he loves Bud Light so I added on there. Like I wouldn't just put anything on there. I didn't want to just put random stuff. I tried to put stuff that I know that he would like or also things that I know that like are relevant to us as a couple and stuff like that. So that way it was cute and like meaningful to him. So even if your date is not like your boyfriend, but still try to pick stuff that they like because of course this is a gift to them. So you don't want it to be something that they're not going to want. This last tip is definitely cliche, but I'm going to say it anyways. Like have fun with it. I genuinely had fun besides the stressful parts of trying to finish it before formal. Had fun like painting it because it was kind of like therapeutic. I would get home from class and work and I would just like spend an hour or two trying to paint it and it was fun for me to do 
do. I like being creative and stuff, so just have fun doing it. Have fun looking for ideas. Have fun giving it to them. I think in general, it's a lot It's a lot of fun. I'm actually gonna go over to Griffin's tonight later. I'm gonna bring this with me to give to him. And so I want, I'm gonna like try to film his reaction of it and stuff like that so he can be like, woo. And, but he's also kind of, he's sick right now, guys. So if his reaction is not amazing, don't hate him for it because he's been sick for like three days and he's been a big baby, so. <laughs> okay, so psych, it's the next day. I didn't wanna do it last night because it was actually really late. Y'all probably couldn't tell, but Griffin is on his way over here right now. I have my cooler sitting right here and he's going to look at it and let me know what he thinks. All I'm saying is that he better like it. And if he doesn't like it, I'll give it away to one of y'all because he doesn't deserve this piece of art. <laughs> okay, Griffin is here. Are you ready to see it? Mm -hmm. You gotta close your eyes. <laughs> Come in, you just gotta walk forward, walk forward. Ready? Look at it. Ooh. Are you serious? I'm sick. What else? <laughs> I can't. So, this is your front. It says Fratagonia, Gatlinburg, and do you want it? Mm hmm. <laughs> do you like it? Yes. That side took me the longest to do. I know. I remember hearing about it. <laughs> <laughs> then you have this side Rick and Morty. My favorite. <laughs> <laughs> and, ooh, look, look, look. I did. These thingies. Oh, your hip just popped. Yeah, I know. I don't. I don't know if you guys heard that. <laughs> the um, hockey sticks because of the blue jacket. Mm -hmm. CPJ. Then this side we have Bud Light explosion. Yeah. And then you have pong balls because remember, remember when we we first hung out in August and then we played pong together. Okay. And then this side is like a SpongeBob esque side and it does the a few beers later. <laughs> I can just see you snap zooming. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> and then, I'm not really gonna turn it sideways, but you get the point of, of your, your lid here. That's, That's your signature. If you guys wanna steal my identity. There it is. Also my social security number is. It's on the inside of the lid. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, wait, but there is something on the inside of the lid. You got hydrate responsibly, D-U. <laughs> Do you like it? Yes. It gets the sick Griffin approval. Mm-hmm. I'm so sick. He's gross. We don't like him when he's sick. Now that this cooler is about like three weeks late, sorry, it's done. I'm giving it to him. He can have it to do whatever he does with them. I don't really know. I'm not a frat boy, but it's done and I'm happy to never do this again in my life. Yeah. <laughs> that is it for today's video. Let me know. Comment down below your favorite side, which side y'all like the best. Which side your favorite? Probably the Rick and Morty. That side took me forever and it's also a lot. It was, it's very good though. So let me know what your favorite side is. If y'all have to do this ever, I'm sorry. <laughs> have fun with it. Take my tips and do well with it. Let me ask. Don't ever do this. Don't ever have a boyfriend in a frat. Honestly, that is one tip. So don't, don't date a guy in a frat. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Don't date a girl in a Bye. Bye. No, you can't because already girls are amazing.